going to discuss about how we are going to connect with a, a database using the REST APIs. Uh, I mean REST APIs. So, so far what we have seen is we have used the mockup resource. I mean we have a resource it will call the mockup for getting the information. For example, I have a student resource here. So when I call the get student, it is going to call the student mockup method and it will return the hard coded information but it looks pretty odd. So what we can do is let's write a connection to establish a connection a uh, database and we'll pull the information from the table. Let's see. First thing we need to have a uh, I'm going to working with a uh, MySQL database now. So I have a database called the student DB. Under the student DB I have a table called student. Student we have a three fields. One is um, uh, first name and last name and student ID. So I have three records already existing in the table. So I'm going to use the get student method to retrieve the data from the database instead of the mockup service. Okay. So we are going to use the plain JDBC. So let's see how it is going to work. Okay. So basically first thing what we need to do is we need to have a method to return the connection information. Okay, that means the JDBC connection. Okay, so I'm gonna create a method in the mockup class where we can. Uh, okay, public connection get or okay get connection. Okay, so it will return the connection. So the connection has to be SQL connection. So for now, I'm going to return null. Okay, so now first we need to know we are going to connect with some DB. So yeah, when you're dealing with the DB, just make sure you put the code inside the try catch block. Okay, so before that, I need to have a connection where I can put the connection details. So initially it will be null. So I'm going to return the connection here. Okay, so we need to provide what is the class which I'm going to connect because the class is different for um, uh, different for Oracle and MySQL. Okay. So class that uh, again my system is a bit low slow. Okay, so class that for name. Okay, so the default. I mean uh, the name is for MySQL is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. So, so we need to because since we are handling with the uh, SQL, we need to, it it is expecting us to handle the exception. So let's handle the exception. Okay, I'm going to write a try catch block here. Okay, so connection is equal to. So I'm going to can get the connection using driver manager dot get connection so here is the important thing the database information which we need to provide okay so since i'm connecting uh, uh, mysql so the syntax is jdbc colon and mysql database and which ser which server you're going to connect localhost localhost and what is the default port 3306 and my db stud student db okay and the second parameter which is nothing but the username the password the username is root and i don't have any i didn't set any password for that okay so which this will return the connection so what is the exception here okay that's the exception okay okay so i return the connection okay this is uh, pretty much over here okay Let's go to the method because this method it is going to return the data from the table instead of the mockup. Okay, let's write the code here. We are going to replace. We are going to reuse the method to return the data from the uh, database. Okay, so uh, the first thing let's write a method to fetch the data. So I need to. Uh, I'm going. To, okay, first just get the connection. get connection dot create statement 
create statement dot execute query you can do it in a single step also we can you can write a statement and then execute query and then get and get the connection i'm just doing it a single step okay so the it will return the result set result quote so the the query is select star from student okay so i have to good connection i had a handle exception so what is this saying okay execute okay so it's have to execute query okay get connection dot create dot okay exception okay so i'm going to extract the information from the result set okay start next mm, okay so i'm going to, so i'm going to have the list here or okay i can use the same list okay so i'm going to have a create a d2 here rs okay it's not rs it is result student is equal to student is equal to new student come on okay okay new student and i'm going to set a dto okay student dot set set first name and the data which i'm getting is from result set dot get string my column is uh, number 2 so so the first column is id which is the primary key that is dot get string f2 okay i'm still going for this okay and then last name okay so then add the student into student list okay that add stu okay so that's all so let's see how it is going to work so let me build it once El project. Okay, once build is done. Okay, so then start the server. Let's take a while. Okay. the server started so let's run the project we know the url okay wait it's not working okay it's hang let's try the browser okay so This is the URL. Let's go try and see what has happened. Okay, and supported uh, operation. Okay, so what is the error? Let's go over and see. Open the console and see. So the error message is student dot get student. Okay, the error message is coming from the okay line number twenty eight. Okay. Okay, I'm using the global list. Okay, since it is used in other op operations. Okay, let's make it a distinct. keep it here okay so let's clean it one more time clean okay okay it is done i guess okay so the browser and let's push it again
Okay, we got the response. Okay, let me open the normal browser so you can see the process format. See, we have three. Uh, we got three stored information. The pr the reason is we have three student information which is existing in the database. Okay, so that's all from this video. Just give it a try, and you might face some issues. Just let me know. So I can help you on that and uh, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.